Okay, guys, I am back. We just need to finish up a few things on this journal. The Bursts of Beauty by Calico, Calico Collage. That's where the kit came from. Um, I did go ahead and print out some more um, background pages so I can have... Um, let's see, I needed, I needed something to put in this envelope. So, actually, this is still small, <laughs> but it'll work. Um, can I have that this way, or shall I have it this way? Actually, I think I like it that way. And that's similar. Okay. And I think I will just put some some coffee dyed paper inside here. But uh, I wanted I needed something. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll end up putting both of those inside that envelope. But I've gone through and I've tucked in some things in some pockets. Um, but I think I had a couple of tuck spots that didn't have anything. Those go in there. Okay, I've got something in that pocket. I've just stuck a tag here. I want to put a journal card in here. The This is a background page that I've printed out 5x7 on cardstock and just rounded the corners and made a journal card out of that one. So then there should be somewhere on the other... There we go. The corner that matches. Um, and then I had the two little, um, well, there's a tuck there, and I probably can stick one of these little, little tags in there. So then there's another one on this side that I have that, and I can stick, these are all little pieces I had left over that I haven't done anything with. I'll just stick those in there. They may or may not stay. If not, I'll stick them somewhere else. Uh, I've got a journal card in there. Okay, so what did I do with the... There they are. I took two of these Admit One tickets and just put a backing on it so we would have a little, our little pin. Or, sorry, altered paper clip. So... And that's where I will put these two journal cards. So, yeah, I guess I'll put that other one um, in the envelope. Um, with the other one. So, two writing pages in here. can't decide. Okay. Now, I need to figure out what to do on the front. So, if I've got this... By the way, I decided not to do any lace trim. There's just not enough room in there to do the lace trim. But if I've got this coming around, and I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times, and tuck it in, and that's just going to hang down with those charms, then I need to put this journal somewhere. And I, I'm i trying to figure out, do I want to put a piece of fabric? I have some fabric down here. Let me see. Um, that's too small. Let's see what I've got. 
got so I've got some this which I could do because this one this one's definitely too small and but if I had a piece just you know just over just a tad and maybe even put a piece of lace underneath it on top of the let me trim it let me trim it and see maybe a half an inch inch on each side let's try let's try that pull some of these fibers off if I did something like so and I mean I could put this on here and I did use a little um, I have a little set of, of these are my legacy writers by close to my heart and they come in different colors um, non-bleeding light fast waterproof pigment ink and so somewhere I have the pink one that I used oh here it is um, and I just colored in the flower a little bit just not not very much just at the shadowy parts um, but I think that'll look that would look good like that I, I don't really need a lot I just want something a little bit more maybe even down toward the bottom a little bit hmm yeah I think so all right that's what we're going to do so let's see where's my my glue and I'm I'm not covering up the whole design because we've got the butterflies and everything down here but I just you know I just want something and just to set it off a little bit well not only because it's a black and white image but um, I, I don't know I just think it'll make it stand out a little bit so let's see I'm, I'm gonna put this about here so see how well we do with the glue because this is coated with Mod Podge um, I shouldn't have any issues it should still stick pretty good there we go oh yeah that's stuck right down okay and then actually I think I want to move it down just just a bit because I want to put this down here there we go yeah and then I think I'll just put that like that I don't want it to get all tangled up in the binding, but the binding is really, you know, in the center, so so that should work. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and outline this whole area. That way I know the edges aren't going to pop up because we don't want that. Now I'm looking at it. Is that crooked? Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I got to look at this. Maybe it's one and a half, one and a half, yeah. For some reason that looks really crooked. 
with just the angle I am at. Okay. Don't want it to don't want it to be crooked. Although with this um, this little cutout it probably wouldn't even be that noticeable because it's kind of a different kind of shape. And I think what I'm going to do is come back over this maybe with some um, with a little bit of Mod Podge just to protect it a little bit. I know I got the glue on that edge. I just want to make sure that it's adhering all the way around. Insert Jeopardy music here. Okay. Yeah, this is, is going to need a little bit more glue there. And maybe the Mod Podge will help take care of that. But. Okay. Well, we'll come back. I'll come back to that when we're finished. Okay. So, um. In the meantime, I want to attach some 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 to the top of these tags. So I think I'm just going to do like so. I just need a little bit of extra texture. Get that up there and then clip off anything that's hanging over. Whoa. There we go. Okay, I'm going to set this back further. Okay, so I've got another tag here. I think for this one, we can staple a little tab on top. There we go. Okay. Got an envelope. There's a little tag. I'm not going to do anything to the little tags. Um, just the medium ones and the large ones. Let's see if I can continue to do this without getting my fingers involved. Is this a large one, like the other one on top? No. This is a smaller one. I've got a lot of tags in here that I've made from the backgrounds. but And see that, I mean, that's not a lot. This tag doesn't need very much. Look, it's so beautiful already from the artwork. So I don't want to, you know, add a bunch of stuff that's going to, take away from it. These are small tags and another small, yeah, small tag and um, uh oh, got a little bit of glue on there. I'll have to, um, if this happens, all I do is uh, take a baby wipe. Happen to have one right here. And just getting it wet a little bit. Let's 
separate it out like so. You can see that little bit of glue, but I'll let that dry and then I'll snip that off. Okay. So, let's see. Um, there's another one I want to put a little topper on. Just looking for the, there's one. I was going to say, I think I had six. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is that vellum piece. I'm not noticing any oily um, crossover. Um, so... I think having it between those layers, um, is that, yeah, it's not, I, the one thing I've noticed is it's not as transparent as it was, you can still see through it somewhat, but it's, it's white again on the back, and maybe that's because of, I absorbed so much of the oil, but I'm not getting any oily transfer anywhere, so that's okay. It's still different than a regular piece of coffee dyed or the other pages. So, and I think this one might be the last one. I keep putting, putting the scissors up here to use them as a stopper and then I need them. Okay. The main thing is I want to staple it on without getting my fingers in there. Oops. I just lost my other stapler. Okay. Now this um, tuck spot is so, so big. Um, I just stuck this little journal card out the side. And then we've got the big one which I am going to glue on. So. You know, I think I only went across to that one part right there. Yeah. And then I cut off the little toppers. Okay, so I need to finish that piece on the front. Probably gonna have to weigh it down a little bit to get that glue to adhere, and then um, get some coffee dyed paper in there, and then uh, we'll be doing a flip through. So um, that was a really fast and easy one. This kit was really easy to work with. Beautiful, beautiful kit. So. Anyway, um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.